Hi, it's Erin, and welcome back to my channel, Linden Boulevard. So, um, other than gardening, I have a passion for ch chicken keeping, as well as um, animal behavior. That's what I originally started my career in, was animal behavior, and then I realized I couldn't be alone in the bush like Cynthia Moss or Jane Goodall just turned out not to be my thing so but I do have a passion for animal behavior and uh, particularly bees um, so I keep honeybees and um, this year I'm experimenting with um, raising monarchs because I've never seen them come all the way through from egg to butterfly in our yard and we have a lot of milkweed I think the either the chickens get to them or they get eaten by the birds. So I decided this year I was going to try to raise monarchs. So I'm going to take you along for a little bit of what I've been doing for the past week with the monarch caterpillars. So I think I've been able to identify what a monarch egg looks like right here in the center. I think that's a monarch egg. So what I've been doing is I've been finding the leaves that have monarch eggs on them. And then I have been taking them off the plant and I have this aquarium set up and I'm placing them in the aquarium. The motivation for taking care of the monarchs inside came when I found this one chomping on a leaf outside and this is the biggest one i've ever seen in our yard since we've had this milkweed so i thought i'd bring them inside with the hopes that we could keep them alive till they get to the crystallis stage see there those two guys are caterpillars and i only found them because of their poop their little poops and i I don't know, I can't see they're too far away if the coloring is right. But that could be some more monarchs. Have to film this clean out out here because the dogs and the kids are playing video games and so it's really annoying. annoying. So I thought I'd show you what's going on with the caterpillars. This is um, day five of my adventure in rearing monarch butterflies. Um, I The sticks are in here because I thought that the... I thought that the monarch caterpillars one of them was gonna go form a chrysalis, but I guess not quite yet. So that's why I had the sticks in there because I've read that they don't typically form their uh, chrysalis on the milkweed that they feed off of. This is one. And my understanding is when they get to be two inches is when it's about time for them to form their chrysalis. And this particular one is about 1.75 inches. So anyway, I have to clean out their enclosure because they poop a lot. I'm gonna just show you what's going on. This is what their enclosure looks like. And um, there's so much poop in there. So I have to clean it out almost daily now so that it doesn't build up too much. So that's that's the chore for the day. So I'm gonna take the um, leaves out that have the caterpillars on them. And like this is a whole stalk I just put in here. And I'm gonna put on the mesh top just to keep them kind of in the same spot. But this this one right here is humongous. So I think 
he is gonna any day now form his crystallis or her crystallis. Actually, I think they're sexually dimorphic, which means they don't really um, have a particular sex until they have to. So, anyway. Oh, right there. So cute. This is all his work of art. brought him in from the clean out and um, it's been about four hours or so it's already dirty again but look just as I put it so I think it's starting to happen so he'll or sh whatever will spin some silk and then dangle from this location um, and then it is approximately 11 to 12 days for the pupation, like the complete metamorphosis to occur. And then we'll have a butterfly. 